Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your reading now for September 11th through the 18th. This is for the or 17th, September 11th through September 17th for the sign of Aquarius. I have pre-shuffled these three times with the bridge. I just like to shuffle them a little bit like this. Emotions run deep. So I see that you've been emotional. I mean, the beginning of the week, you're emotional about something. Probably maybe there's been some kind of loss or you're still thinking about a, a, a loss um, or you're thinking about um, some previous hurt. Either way, you're, either you're moping over something. Um, Maybe, I mean, maybe it has to do with a commitment. Maybe it has to do with a commitment. Maybe there's a third party situation. Maybe this may or not resonate with all of you, okay? Um, may or may not resonate. I do feel like there's something that there's been some, some uh, hurt. There's definitely been some hurt at the beginning of the week. But things start to get better because things, harmony, harmony starts to come back, all right? Harmony does come back, and I think that it, you know, it takes a little bit of um, the need to control your emotions, all right? Taking back control of your feelings and working on healing. And I think, I mean, that's what I see. I see you taking back control of your feelings, taking, um, taking the lead. I see bringing back organization to your life. Maybe things were a little bit um, chaotic last week or for the last month but it looks like you're bringing back some some organization some structure i think that there's some healing going on there even could be some need to escape because things have been rough i see i think things have been rough so you might feel a need to just escape and maybe even indul overindulge in something um i do feel like you are a very beautiful person inside and out and i think you're very caring and, you know, I think sometimes you might care too much, you know. I think you might care too much and you might just need some time to escape, to rejuvenate your soul, you know, to, to reorganize and to bring the structure back, all right? That's what I see. I think that you have a, a lot of life experience behind you. This, is, this may or may not resonate with all of you, but for a lot of you, you have... Um, you have a lot of life experience behind you, and you are strong, very, very strong, and you're victorious, all right? I see that you have a lot of confidence and courage at this time to get through whatever it is that you have been, um, that hurt you, all right? Somebody could have left, you know, because they went with somebody else, or somebody could have just walked away unexpectedly, or left unexpectedly, or left, period, you know? Um, there are also, for some of you, there could be a commitment here. If you're in a relationship, your relationship could be stepping up to the next level because, I mean, we have like an engagement or a commitment here. We have a celebration, you know, where there's some happiness. So some of you could be even getting engaged, you know, or just a resurgence of a relationship if you're already in one. If, you know, I see security, I see stability, I see love. Um, and I see some excitement too. So, you know, I think there's, there's, 
there's some whooping and there's some emotions at the beginning of the week. Perhaps there was some kind of loss that you're still crying over. Um, and you just need to take a few minutes or take a day or take some time to reorganize your life and do some maybe some inner healing or just take a minute to escape from the real world to bring back your vibrancy. Okay. Um, I see contentment though and I see balance. So I think that, you know, it starts out rough and it's, it just starts to balance back out. And you do that from going within and escaping for a minute to pull yourself back together, which I think that you do, you know. Um, I see satisfaction. I see abundance. I see security. I see stability. Um, I mean, these could be people in your life that are helping you, but I think it's you doing this. Um, and, I, you know, as far as love goes, I don't see new love. I see, you know, if you, I see most of this right now looks like it's for people that are either coupled, you know, and their relationship is moving up another level, you know, or it is, if it's for somebody who is single, there could be somebody else who coming in that is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, um, That could lead to a commitment. Seriously. Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. These can also be the rods of love that leads to a commitment. I mean, you could meet this person at a gathering. All right? Because we also have this. These also both signify gatherings if you haven't met this person yet. So if you get invited to any gatherings, I would go. Could be any gathering at all where there's people. All right? And there's togetherness and friendliness. And love. Okay. Um, I do see a little bit of a need to escape from the real world for a minute or two or three. Or whatever you want to do. But that's what I see. I see a need to escape for a little while. So that you can rejuvenate your beautiful soul. You know, I think that there's been a little bit of hurt or strife or loss recently. This is the week of September 11th through the 17th. This is my after tarot. The first one is the witch's tarot. If you like my page um, and you want to subscribe, you just hit the subscribe button. If you want notifications for every time I put a reading out, then you hit the bell. If you don't want the notifications but you just want to subscribe, you hit the subscribe. I find that a lot of people don't know that. So I just wanted to let some people know. Um... Anyway, we have this new exciting discovery right here that dares you to do something great, okay? That dares you to be something new or do something new or do something different. This is an awakening. It's a breakthrough. Like, like I said, there's going to be a time of escape and reorganization because you're going to have some kind of breakthrough of some sort that brings you the truth of a situation. This is clarity. This is you. Okay, some clarity is coming. All right, I'm not sure what it is. It could be involving a commitment, it could be involving two other people. There's some kind of truth coming out. Whatever it is, it's going to bring harmony and contentment. It is. Okay, and it's going to bring a new chapter, a new start. You have a new phase right here, and this is good luck, good fortune. When the wheel of fortune comes out, it's very, very good. All right, it means that good luck is on the way, good fortune. The, the tide is finally turning in your favor. All right, and there is excitement. This is a new partnership or a resurgence of a partnership, a new feeling, a new excitement for something. And it has to do with um, security, and it has to do with a commitment. And it might have to do with love. All right, could be with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo person. Either way, it's somebody that is very practical. And it's just a, um, a new, exciting, passionate start to something. Which is going to leave you very satisfied. And you've earned it. Your life experience has brought you to this spot where it's finally time for the wheel to spin in your favor. This is feeling like a victim, though. Maybe that's part of your wake-up call. They are connected. Where you no longer feel like a victim.
And you start to feel very vibrant. This is a this is a fire sign, so you definitely could have a fire sign in the picture. Right below you. We we also I mean we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, so it could be really any sign. Either way, there's excitement this week. There's excitement and there's some there's like some daring energy. All right. And you do have some kind of an awakening that changes things and probably starts to make things go in your favor. But it's after a time of loss. It is. Some kind of heartache, some kind of moping, crying over something. And then you just need to take a minute to refocus, reorganize, bring yourself back. And things change real fast. You have that ability. I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to get three of these angel romance cards to see what we can get for love. If they'd stop falling out. Too many fall out at a time. I don't want to use those. Because I'm only going to get three. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Like there's a, there's definitely some excitement and there's a wake up call. All right, and there's a new beginning with that Ace of Wands up there. There's a new beginning. There's definitely a new discovery. You may be having feelings for somebody new. Could be somebody you're with, and all of a sudden you have a resurgence of feelings. Okay, or it's for somebody new completely. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. If it's not somebody brand new and it's with somebody that you're with, I think that your your relationship is moving up another level. Okay? That's why the commitment card is underneath. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. There is some escapism here. So, you know, when I said something, I, I don't know if I said it to you or not, but overindulgence. There's codependency here. There's an overindulgence in something. Okay? It could you could be addicted to anything. Could be you could be addicted to another person. You could be addicted to who knows what. There are hundreds of thousands of addictions. You know what this is. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Something can be on your end, can be on the other person's end. Could be to money. Because this is also a very egotistical card as well. Somebody who has too much or you know, has a very big ego. Or you could still be stuck on somebody else, which is, because this is rods of love as well. And you could be stuck on somebody else, which you need to leave behind, and it's affecting your new love. I mean, that could be it, too. Um, so, Ari, uh, what was I going to say? Aquarius. I'm sorry. Aquarius. This is what I have. I don't feel the need to pull any more. I think that there's a resurgence of a relationship or a new relationship that is very exciting after a time of loss. September 11th through the 17th. 